Stealth Omicron is fast becoming the dominant strain of the coronavirus in places like Hong Kong that have been hit hard by the latest wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. Omicron BA2, as the subvariant is officially known, has so far been found in more than 70 countries. So what is Stealth Omicron and should you be concerned? Omicron BA2 is a subvariant of the original Omicron strain known as BA1. This means BA2 is not a totally new variant of the virus. However, this subvariant is still different in some concerning ways. This uh, sister variant differs from the BA1 by about 40 mutations. And the challenge with that is that some of these mutations in what's called the spike region of the virus. And uh, the spike region is one which is used by PCR and some antigen testing. These mutations mean that it may evade uh, some of the testing which is done. And it's, this is going to be very important because in places like Hong Kong, where we now want to use rapid antigen tests for uh, screening of the populations to make sure that all the tests uh, which we use can pick up the Omicron. It's called Stealth Omicron because these mutations make it harder for some tests to identify COVID-19 infections as Omicron strains. To be clear, it doesn't mean it's harder to detect whether a person has coronavirus. This new subvariant still shows up in most COVID-19 tests. It simply means it's harder for researchers to identify it as being part of the Omicron family. First detected late last year, Omicron BA2 has now become the dominant strain, quickly replacing the original Omicron strain in places currently struggling with a new wave of the pandemic. So BA2 is now about 90% uh, of, the, of the infection now in Hong Kong. This is because Omicron BA2 is also the fastest spreading form of the coronavirus to date. Our previous work showed that the Omicron replicates about 70 times more than Delta uh, we're using the BA1 and the this BA2 <coughs> replicates about one and a half times uh, faster than uh, BA1 so basically we are dealing with a like a supercharged spreader. So is Stealth Omicron more dangerous than the previous strain? According to some experts not necessarily but like all conversations about the pandemic, that answer also depends on where you ask it. Scientists in Japan found that the new subvariant caused more severe lung disease in hamsters. But Professor Nichols said this can't be directly compared to humans. From a clinical point of view, we're not seeing as much severe disease, both in, uh, in Denmark, where you've had the, the BA2, and certainly in, in Hong Kong. So I, th I think at this stage, the jury should be out about, is it causing more severe lung disease? So far, Omicron BA2 is acting similarly to its sister variant, meaning that while it is far more infectious than prior strains, it is not resulting in high levels of serious illness and deaths like the Delta variant. But much of that initial data is coming from countries with high vaccination rates that have also gone through prior waves of the pandemic. In those countries, hospitalisation rates from Omicron BA2 are about the same as those from BA1. That means for most of the world, stealth Omicron is proving to be a more infectious but less severe strain of the coronavirus. But what about in Hong Kong, where vaccination rates lag behind much of the world? So it's more of a concern in Hong Kong, which is uh, behind the ball in, uh, in, in terms of many countries in the world, is that we're now in the last regions of the world to be infected uh, with the virus and a large scale. So that's why it's far, far, far more of a problem for Hong Kong than other parts of the world. The, it depends on basically the age of the population, previous vaccination strategies, which vaccines have been used, and also whether or not the population as a whole has been exposed to previous strains of, of uh, coronavirus. This is a very as I said, a very uh, complex area because um, the data which has come out from many countries have shown that Omicron in general is far less severe uh, in terms of patients uh, getting into the ICU. It's also challenging to say exactly what this all means for the pandemic. Omicron BA1's high transmission rate made it the most widespread as well as the shortest wave of the pandemic so far. So will the stealth subvariant, which is even more infectious than the original Omicron variant, have an even shorter wave? Well, 
only time will tell. While health experts believe this new subvariant will surely be far harder to control and prevent, there is still one proven way to protect yourself from serious illness, vaccines. Um, so I think it's going to spread far more rapidly, which means that both containment strategies and mitigation strategies is going to be harder to implement. The reality which I think many people need to accept is that vaccination will not prevent you from getting Omicron. Uh, there are numerous studies which have shown that. What it will do is that when, not if, but when we do get Omicron, if you've been vaccinated, then you will not get severe disease, uh, but rather you will have a better chance of getting mild disease. And so the, all, all the results show that, uh, that the vaccination will prevent against severe disease uh, when Omicron does come along.